Justin had extreme pain. So the other nights we were able to still use the house down there. We are still able to use our bathtub, but they've gotten far enough into the demo that it's not usable any longer. I realized that he needs to take a bath. So we're gonna rig up a hot tub with our um, trough, the one that we take the ice baths in, and also with um, the pig scalding setup. I really feel like an uh, Epsom salt bath is gonna be the key to him not freaking out. Like he was like so much in pain. Like I've never seen it. It's like we're gonna get into that. We're gonna take that setup and we're gonna put it up there. We'll build the fire up there and then we'll siphon it down and that's, you know, the house that we're staying in and we'll put it in the backyard and we'll put a pop-up tent up. I just really feel like it's gonna be so beneficial to him because that's the one thing that we weren't able to do that was helping him so very much. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but Josiah has pulled over a hose, a 100-foot hose to siphon it. Got it tied. <laughs> Four we have a spigot that we're going to put it onto and start filling and then we will start the fire and hopefully get him in a bath maybe before lunch. Just gonna clean it just to make sure that it's clean. We have firewood here under cover. We're gonna go in and eat breakfast while that it's filling. I had to come back into the house to get something and Justin's like, it looks like you're having fun out there. He's like standing at the window like a little kid. I'm just standing here like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> like, like Henry. <laughs> Jack there, Jack there. I think this is gonna work. I think you have crazy ideas. Not so crazy. Guys, I did not think you were gonna get that much done before breakfast. What would we do without that machine? It would've been a lot harder. I mean, we could've done it with a tractor. A lot of home stairs think, I gotta get a tractor. Well, you might think about a track loader because it's so much more versatile. And it's more compact. Easier to store. That is hard on your pasture. What's next? Tank is filling. Okay. Once it's filled, we'll start a fire underneath it. Yeah. And we'll come down here and get the tub situated where we want it. We might get a hose put on it so that when we drain it, it drains way out there instead mm -hmm. of right here in our yard. I put a clamp on the hose so that it will stay on the tank because it, it had fallen out. Oh, Lily, we got to turn it off. It is uh, full. The hose is turned off. Let's unclamp it. I'm gonna set it up so that he can step off of this deck. Maybe that will be easier on him. Clean. I have it set up here so he can step into it. Should be good. We'll see. We have a fire going. We are gonna need to go get a 10 by 10 tent. It's supposed to be like raining all day on and off. So if it's like deluging rain, we can have that. So we're not like getting super cold rain in our nice hot tub. We've done it. All the kids and I have gotten this together for Justin so that he can have a redneck hot tub, accelerate healing, and feel better in the long run. We have a hundred a hundred gallon barrel up there with a fire underneath it. Then siphon it down here into the stock tank. We have our 10 by 10 tent over it to keep the cold rain out of it. Jonah has nicely put out a bath mat. That is it, now we just wait for our water to heat. When we fill up the hot tub, we're gonna go ahead and fill up the barrel again so we can have another soak this evening. It wasn't supposed to take this long. What time is it? We have it going really good now. It was only 70 degrees. So yeah, I mean, I just completely misunderstood what he said. Mark my words and remind me if I crash tonight, big time. I'm doing a lot better right now. I'm doing better this time right now than I was yesterday. Last night was rough. Yeah, you're walking really. We have a little PTSD because it feels similar to what I had with reactive arthritis. Yeah. And that was like a five, six month battle. Doctor said though I should be 
back to normal within a week with this. So proud of you guys. Getting up, doing the chores, last two days. Figuring out vanilla. I didn't, I didn't think to train you at all on that. You guys just did that. Taking forever to, to fill up. The hose is going, we don't have enough pressure. Plug in the heater to it. Here. That'll exactly. help keep it warm. After dinner. While it's filling up. Is up enough? It's really hot. Oh my gosh, it's really hot. It's too hot. So what are we gonna do? Well, is that enough water? You want me to go get a, some water? Yeah, we have an extra hose here somewhere. It's so good though. Is it terrible? Oh wow. Are you okay? It's so hot. It's so hot. This is wood fire. <laughs> I know, it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> made it 20 minutes. It's so hot. The question is, can I, I walk? I know. How are you doing? I feel like that's nature's pain medicine. This was the one thing that we didn't have last night. How is it? Still in pain, but that doesn't, that helps. What do you think? Yeah. It's hot. It's hot. Are you going to be able to do it? I think so. I think it feels really good. You're going to do it for 20 minutes? Probably. Probably. for longer. I'm going to tell everybody now. So not a surprise. Tonight, we need to pick up chickens from the high tunnel and put them in the front yard compost corner. Grab the apple and let's go. I've been off chores three days. Thank God for these kids. I think I'm well enough to at least get on Sally and just check up on things. Jonah's complaining of shoulder pain. I want to say this about the farm. It's the life of us and it's the death of us. Maybe not the death, the pain of us. Well, because it's killing me. It's killing me. It was on the farm I got injured. Uh, oh, you don't think so? Well, yes, I do think that, but I also think that you didn't slow down when your body said slow down. You didn't have to move furniture, demo, or... Actually, I think it was the training that, the workout that actually exasperated the most. And that's the life and the death of me, perhaps. Do you have any other pair of boots besides those? No. Those are soaking wet on the inside. I had an onset of this pain long before it crippled me. And I don't know when to push through pain and when not to. Obviously, I crossed that line and took it too far. Now, like, it would, sorry, I get shots of pain every once in a while. It was more in my SI joint on the left side. Now I've got some pain in my right groin. Give me some options for steroids on Friday. I haven't taken them. They're not the best thing in the world for you. Everything is a blessing and a curse. You don't want to just take that stuff and not know or at least consider some of the curses of it. Healing progress. I only take pain medicine if it's so extreme. It's like an eight out of 10 or something. And it's at night and I just absolutely am not gonna sleep. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take some ibuprofen. And I had to do that, not last night, two nights before, so perhaps I'm getting better. This injury happening too, the start of a demo for our house remodel. Also started during spring rush. We need to get everybody out to pasture. We need to get the pigs castrated. Horrible time to get injured. Mama pig dies. Piglets fighting to survive. Actually, they're doing pretty good. It's so dusty in here. What? My rabbit died. Did it? I don't know how. There was an water, it worked. Oh. And she had to Alright, well, it happens. She ate yesterday. She was just fine yesterday. Are you okay? Yeah. You sad? A little bit. Want a hug? Let's hose this down in here. It's so dusty. Why are there eggs everywhere? We need our, uh, oh, is this? This gets full and nobody wants to lay in here. Come here, Josiah. You've really stepped it up the last three days. You have to do Jonah, you had to do me. You had to complain. You've been the first off the door. This is when a man's character really shines through. I need to remember that for myself as I'm tempted to complain. They're already too big to get out of there, huh? No, they're not. Where do they get out? They cross over into her pen and then they get out from under the gate. We gotta castrate them before they get too big and before we can't catch them. Did you already feed them milk? I gave them a little skim milk. Talked to Paige out at Grass Grace. She said we could 
You get you fed them some skin. So we don't have to do complete whole milk from the cows. It's fattier than pigs. So we can dilute it with water, make it go further, and we've been doing that 50-50. Three gallons of milk in the afternoon, half of it's water, and then skim. No, not unless they need it, I'm like okay. this morning. Particularly dusty in here when we have to roll down the sides. We've rolled down the sides because it's cold. The piglets were shivering the other day. We've had a hard frost. He has to stay in the side-by-side -side because, well, his, she's soaked his shoes. I really need you to go turn this water on. He says, but I can't. But how can you? Got an idea, I'm not gonna say can't. Hey, <laughs> hey, well, I'll get some relief on the camera work here. Thank God for Pete. Pete! Hey. Who's gonna milk, me? Don't think so. Kids have been milking vanilla, even. So proud of them. Jimmy and Anthony, slowly and steady, doing our demo. So thankful for this team that we've been able to assemble. It's, 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 it's critical. It's been critical. I heard the mower starting and they, the first day they did this, they pulled the vanilla in with the mower. I think we can do it without the mower. They just, they don't know how. They, the last couple of days though, they've been able to do it. Lily, are you having a hard time getting vanilla? What? Are you having a hard time getting vanilla? What'd she say, Josiah? She still has to milk flossy, so she hasn't tried vanilla yet. That girl's been milking two cows. Be able to keep up today, won't you, Pete? <laughs> With my walking pace. <laughs> Look at you guys, you got her? Mm. She's real hesitant to go in there right now. She's freaking out, like she's not eating. Hey. Thank you, Vanilla. We still haven't held the calf from her in the evenings. I'm probably not going to until things get under control. I think I figured out why she's so hesitant eating that. It's a brand new batch of alfalfa. There's a perfectly logical explanation for this. It usually takes them a few days to get used to a different kind of alfalfa. And the fact that honey didn't eat all her alfalfa is definitely telling that the cows are sus of this new alfalfa. I was told this milk belongs in their grain. I love it when the kids take charge and tell me what to do. Love it. That's gonna be a good point on this farm is when I say to them, what next? They're nibbling on they're nibbling at me. There you go. Well, they, I guess they suspect I'm mom or something. Poor things. You look fat enough though. Gotta get some shelves to mom. She's already reconfiguring the kitchen at the cabin. Stainless steel counter's not working out. Lily, can you help Pete? Let's just put it right there in the sun. You don't need no help? Up. <laughs> you gonna help catch him? He likes catching chickens. The chicken tractor moved over. Look at what they did. Gideon, now you can get the clumps up. You've been wanting to hoe. Pete is harvesting our compost for us. We've raked a couple of inches of this wood chips off. If you're gonna have chickens in one spot, put them on deep bedding, put them next to the garden. Look at what's happening here. We just scraped some wood chips to the side. He's now digging this. Look at this soil. Look at this soil. One wheelbarrow load per raised bed and we're good. Wobbles. I know. Josiah, you might need to help him. It's unloaded on this side. It's a little easier on this side because it's you need more on this. Must you dig in our yard? He established this shell. Mom had to go help Grandma. Hey, look what! Oh wow! That's look cool. what Jonah did. It looks so much better. Yes. And Lily made lunch. We did away at the counter. We weren't using it. No, it was not a good idea. So is this better? Yeah, I was thinking chicken and rice. I mean, I guess we needed it like that. All this is everything we need every week. No, yeah. I think you can go through it. Yeah, yeah, we'll go through it. Maybe that we don't even need two shelves. This is kind of sweet though. Precious moments. I mean, it's not too long to have somebody driving off. We're all here together. Was there some milk? Yeah. Lucky dog. The jar too. We've been feeding all our milk to the little piglets every day, but since we started diluting it, I think we're gonna be able to save some for ourselves. Well, now that I'm out here, it doesn't look as vigorous, but to get the cows out, we have to protect our newly planted trees. We planted 
fruit trees up above the frost line and down here in the frost pocket we're planting uh, useful trees like locust and then maple I mean maple isn't so much useful except it's it's not like the the straight maple syrup maple it's just a good looking maple but I'm looking at this I'm not even sure this is ready to graze let's, let's take an average okay average is probably right here you pluck up a piece of grass and it's it's ready I mean we've got one two three leaves plus a dying one that's 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 pretty good sign of ready and these blades are completely healed I would say this is okay won't hurt to go a little bit longer and the problem is with spring I mean everything's growing all at once everything's gonna be ready all at once and, and then you have poo poo patches like that so we gotta protect these little trees I've attached it with some clips here and there leaving it off the ground some hopefully it's low enough that the sheep don't crawl under and high enough though that, that we can string trim all right give me some clips bro I added a third hook there so so maybe we can actually pull this tight now I'm gonna truth did we measure these T posts in right did we cut this right it's perfect I think I might get some sort of temporary binder maybe a removable zip tie or we could just do metal wire and that way we could open this up string trim it that's kind of a pain if we had a string trimmer could we go sound effects yes I think we could I think we could I'm thinking the sheep are gonna just push that right in though well let's see how much does this get yeah they're gonna go in uh, I'm afraid they're gonna just go in that especially the little ones they'll crawl right under that all right we need to I lower it down to the ground the not all the way down so that we can actually hit a string underneath it it needs to be able to open these are kind of things you don't have to worry about when you plant an orchard you could maybe protect all your trees with one fence but I still think it's easier to have your orchard spread throughout using their your trees to forest your pastures everything just works together better that way but it is it is more of an investment in the beginning protect these little guys am I doing any better mm. I feel like I'm doing a little better Let's check on the piglets. Did I hear them? Going nuts? Get your hose and let's hose off in here, please. What is wrong? They can escape somehow. Did they have their milk yet? No. Here, let's get them to follow us back in. We have to put down more wood chips in here so it's cleaner since we're going to uh, castrate them. Is that leftovers from yesterday? Yeah. That's good. That, I put a bunch of skin on top of that yesterday. Check that water for us. Is it full? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen one of them sucking on it. Uh-oh, forgot to get the rabbit up. Get that up and that can be food for Winnie. Billy's little rabbit project has come to an official end. She had a good run. Two years. I hope she comes in better today. Actually, put it, put it down right there, Pete, and then you come stand here by the trough. We'll try to do it as normally as we do. Come stand back there at the trough. Um, this is the drill. She always gets a little snack right here. And then she'll go to the side up there. Honey's looking good. Her coat's off. What are we going to do with you, Vanilla? I don't know if we're going to get her in. This is a big problem because she don't care for the alfalfa enough to go in there. She was scared yesterday. Wasn't eating in there while I was milking, so she's scared of it now. The hay isn't enough to lure her in there either. Something happened in my absence. We've got to get these people out to pasture very soon. How are we going to be able to milk her? This is crazy that you won't go after this alfalfa. You don't like this alfalfa. Cows got to go out. Pigs are going to have to go in there. They got to get out of the greenhouse. We can't get her into a stanchion in a pole barn. We're not going to be able to get her into a stanchion out in a pasture paddock. I'm thinking we're going to have to drive her into the stanchion. I could drive her in down there. I was thinking I might have to keep her in here. And we could set up a, a chute right there easy enough. This fence would be easy enough to use. Well, shoot, we need like two of them. We were gonna do it out there. We only have to. We'll try it with this one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to push her. She's she was freaked out. I probably got close enough. I could have just grabbed her collar. 
but my back. There's no way I was gonna be able to hold her back. She's come over a little closer, getting comfortable. That's good. I don't think that alfalfa is appetizing enough. Wow, I really can. You don't say can't though, you just say how can I. We're creating a physical shoot. We can force her to go forward, but how do you get her in there? Well, I'm gonna see if nets are enough. We can create a, a net funnel there. And if we can, that means we could do this in the field. Good, good girl, good girl, good girl. How am I gonna do this? I'm not able to be agile enough to move her in. What's to stop her from backing up right on me? We'll try something with this net. Good girl, good girl, there you go, good girl, good girl. So in the field, we would have to do two gates. One on either side of the stanchion. I'm trying to do this without physical strength, which is good. It's a good demo for other, other folks who may not have the physical strength. I do not want to be this far with her and lose this success. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go through there. The old timers swear by this trick. Grabbing the tail. Oh my God. Oh, you gotta love the old timers. <laughs> you like that old time trick, Pete? Awesome. We gotta get her okay with being in here, not scared. So, Pete, get us some fresh alfalfa. We got her in. And we can press her in in the field too. This is easier though with the, the solid wall on the other side. How are we gonna get her trained again? Let's see if we can't get her to eat. Okay. It seems like more than yesterday, she's actually eating in the stanchion. Will she eat while I milk her? She's eating while I pet her. That's better than yesterday. How am I gonna do this? She wants to kick me now, she sure could. This bucket's too tall. Lily! Get it! Lily! Need a smaller bucket. It's getting to where the calf is drinking. There's not much in here. So I wonder if she doesn't have a sense of being relieved. She's eating while I'm milking. I think what can be learned from this experience this morning, you know, I've seen people see me struggle with this cow, you know, with putting her in a rope halter, physically pulling her through and saying, oh, I can never do a cow, that's just too much strength. I'm just one woman alone, uh, don't have a husband, this and that. Mind is stronger, better, than brawn today was a perfect case. Might take longer than just brute force. Anything can be done with enough thought. Super relieved we got her milk. That could have been a nightmare. We got her milk. Did you get the pig's net set up? Yeah. How long are they gonna last on their feed? Maybe a day or two. Okay. Hello, chauffeur. Big day today too, rushed, because we're meeting with a contractor today, a framing contractor. Vanilla doesn't care. She doesn't care about the contractor. I like her. Jerry rig brakes. We don't have parking brakes on Sally. Our parking brakes on Sally are just hard to keep up, so. We just give up, I guess. Turn our wheel slightly onto a rock. Now we just need to place rocks all over our farm. Yeah. Let's go check on the fam. One thing I plan on doing for the next at least eight-ish weeks for our YouTube schedule is one farm vlog, one demo remodel vlog, one special. Since we're kickstarting my next book, Homestead Builds, and it's all about gardening and chicken builds, designs, like step-by-step -step plans. We're gonna do a weekly special on chickens and or gardens. Mom, it took me probably 45 minutes an hour to get her in. Really? 
Mm -hmm. Did you find tea? Because you only have one more bag, okay? Right. You want to show them what you've done in here? Oh my goodness. Well, that countertop didn't work out. Like no. I what I wanted for that countertop was to extend the countertop, but what it ended up being was just like a, a graveyard for all the things that we weren't using mm. at the moment. Um, so these were in the cold room. This may like not look minimal to a lot of people, but for homesteader cooking their own food, instant pots a weekly use. The dehydrator is a weekly use. Make yogurt with that. Mixer, Lily likes to bake. Food service trays. Love me a food service tray. This is too bulky. So, yeah, you gotta put this in there. Put this one over there. Cool. To minimize what's over here. I mean, we don't like, need I don't even all that know. Either. I don't even know what's in there because I can't even see it at this point. So, we don't even need all that. Channel um, your inner Darcy. I'm working on it. What would Darcy say if she were watching this? I was actually just trying to pull out the fridge and I wasn't able to, so I'm just glad yeah, I'm not. that you came. You think I can do it? Are you crazy? <laughs> Maybe the two of us together. Are you nuts? Sean is not There's no way. today. Tomorrow. He had, Dang. he had to cancel and come to What? Work. Sean's the contractor I was talking about. He'll end up being the main contractor. Framing, siding, and roofing. I think it's going to work out great. One video for each subject of the week, I can capture more. Like you're gonna get a week l week of footage into one farm video, a week of demo and remodel into one video. So the problem is, is that we are always like, we wanna make the video good, you know? And yeah. so we'll film like maybe s stuff that people are interested in. And so it'll be, cause if we do like every day, if we do five days a week vlogging, yeah, then you get, stuff that doesn't even matter what if there's something else like the video we put up about grandma and why she hasn't been in the vlog and her fight with als we'll just put that up as a bonus strip video. bonus video hey you think sheep would crawl into that i don't think so it would be so much easier for maintenance if the sheep would reach under there and mow it for us. Use the plants and animals to do the work of the farm, guys. Pete's gonna help us, he's gonna help install. Worst case, they get one tree and then we gotta go through and lower every single one. See, the sheep would push in, hopefully, push in. Ah, oh, that's so flimsy, they could just get under that so easy. This side's a little tighter. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's because one side you have five feet apart. They're not gonna wanna eat this grass. They're gonna wanna eat this grass. I mean, that might be a perfect way for them to get in there and string trim that for us. I think what we've decided to do then is, let's, we're gonna be real with ourselves. We did this to Papaw's tree. I don't think we ever went and string trimmed it. So I think we're gonna hope that the lambs just push in and mow for us and don't get in. We'll have tested them in this field. Maybe we won't put up these around the whole farm yet. We'll just do this field, which is only one, two, three, four, five, six left. And if they do it, there's only 12 clamps on each one. It's just probably less than five minutes. The pigs were so dirty this morning. I was like, we cannot castrate. It's gotta be more sanitary. This is why people gotta get out. It's too hot. Cows gotta get out. That means trees gotta be protected. Water lines needs to work. Our old water line isn't gonna work, is it? Is our old water line gonna work? Maybe. I don't wanna put much work into it. We're just gonna have to build another one. Papa, maybe we could, um... One inch put, line. Papa, maybe we could put yeah, a... See, it's gonna be broken. I'm not gonna have that part. Most of the stuff comes tomorrow. <laughs> Greenhouse pegs have been okay. We aren't in love with it. We had to do a lot of deep bedding for them and it's too much ends up being too much deep bedding for a garden it's hard to get the deep bedding in here mama doesn't like it kind of messes up her mojo with her beautiful tomato and cucumber garden in the winter chickens are fine in here we're thinking we're gonna build a pig farm somewhere right in there a pig port structure kind of thing you just get too dirty they've actually worked this up into compost i like to keep it a fresh break. This would just get too deep. Can you go at an angle with your loader and try to get the whole load into this side? You still excited about the truck loader? Um, not as much. <laughs> just another chore now. He's got to load the pigs and then he's got to get us bedding up in the yard for the chickens. So Pete, if you clean out 
any debris from there, I wouldn't leave that there. Put that on top of the feeder right here. Hey, where's that wooden spoon you found? We don't have to use the boomerang no more. I left it right where I found it. And you don't remember where you found <laughs> no. it. You sound like me. Okay, clean out the debris from this. Help him get the material out of this. Now get a load for her. Let's just spread it evenly over the whole thing so it's okay. clean. Look at him going to town on that mill. Look at this. She's laying down in her mulch. Look at these piglets. Hi. Rooster has escaped again. Move this uh, pallet back so that you can dump wood chips. Oh, there's a snake. You guys see that? It was still in hibernation. Oh, I bet it was. You. It's a king snake. Where's our snake stick? You just woke him. Is he poisonous? No, he's a good snake. So if I he bit me, I'd be fine. Yeah. Yep. Would it hurt? He eats, it he eats venomous snakes. Now he will eat chicken eggs too. So hopefully he goes another way. You see that snake? Yeah. He's just waking up. Oh! We move this coop over so you can put in mulch down here too. Push it down and then pull it over. You know what I'm saying? Show him how easy it is. That's good. She found Sabina. We thought Sabina had gone half wild. Well, she probably has gone half wild. I'll go carry her over and feed her. Do you want to start feeding her here? No, I want You'll to You'll carry her? Too. You think she'll actually eat with you over there? Yeah. Demo continues. What are you doing over here? Your food's over there too now. No, he knows it. He's been over there. You guys miss it over here? Yeah, I miss it. But where I'm standing is going to be a sunroom. So it won't even be the same when we come back. Look at this. Papa's carrying something. Hey, quick, 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 quick. Hey, maybe they'll be trained to come to somebody. Big, 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 big. A little bit of yogurt for them. Old yogurt. When you guys eat that, we normally keep pigs on mom for eight weeks. Mom died at two weeks. You guys are a lot cleaner, though. The yogurt, what do you think? Should have diluted it. Uh oh, we need two pans. Here, come here. You're already milking, huh? Yeah. What's the hurry? My hurry is a meeting about the demo and framing for the uh, remodel in one hour. Hopefully, Vanilla cooperates. Vanilla, you coming in? Maybe. Let's try getting her in without the shoot first. smoother than yesterday, so maybe that's what we gotta do. Oh my gosh, you got the horse course ready. Let's see you do this real quick before we have to go do the fencing. I'm gonna do simple course because, okay. Okay, show us. Cause I'm just born. <laughs> I love the gallop. Nice, I like it. Woo! Look at Henry. Serious as a heart attack. Thought it would be easier to get the wire closer to where we need it, which I think it's not a bad idea. What if we put it in the back of Sally? I love how they always make a game out of something. You want to cut a bunch while we're here? Here, just a uh, measure. I think these two are going to live because how much work we're doing to them. Yeah, I, I hope so, my man. He said six inches off the bottom, so I'll tell you what that is. Josiah just had the idea to put our wide woven wire web at the bottom instead of the the finer one at the bottom because then the sheep can reach through there and push and mow. That's our answer. We put it low enough that the sheep aren't gonna go under there, just a few inches off the ground. So that then just a little bit of string. Well, string won't even need to get around it. They'll mow it, but just leave it a couple inches at the bottom. We did it. About 10 minutes. Yeah. I think we'll get faster though. And I think we have a good solution. I think the sheep Hopefully they won't like go through there and get the leaves, but they'll go through here and get the grass. Got two in. We've got an idea of what it's going to take. I don't know, five, ten minutes, ten minutes each. You saw me leave during the time lapse. The cows got out. We also discovered Beefcake has knocked over his water, so that's got to get fixed pronto. The piglets had gotten into the chickens and knocked over their water. Good thing about working on a diverse farm is well you have diversity and you spread some risk we had a mama pig die well we still have cows in milk we still have chickens laying eggs 
we still have another pig. The problem with a diverse farm is sometimes there's many different things that need to be done all at once. Trees need to be covered. Water line needs to be put in. Beefcake needs to have water. We really need to keep demo going. You wanna run? You excited? Honestly, I'm kind of feeling like the 100 days of building a homestead was a mistake. Clearing that two acres ourselves. The reason I say that is because we got the graders and they cleared it in two days. Now they probably wouldn't have cleared it in two days had we not done all that work, but maybe three. And then we could be focused on technical stuff like this and it wouldn't be this mad spring rush. What happens when they run out? Two acres? Yeah. Well, we're gonna clear two acres every year, but this time we either have the machines where you boys can do it. Yeah. So it'll be easier. That's the, that's the idea. We have a water fountain, and we're not supposed to have a water fountain. Can you tell what's wrong? Oh wait, that doesn't look on straight, does it? Nope, it's not going on straight. All those new wood chips ain't gonna keep these guys clean if they won't stay in the tin. Here you go, pig, 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 pig. Another rotten yogurt. And I'm gonna dilute it. One day. One part yogurt, three parts water. Bubba, look, he's after the chicken. She would text you. What is it? You like this clean corner? She's organized the fruit. She's got us some fruit racks. She's organized the shell. You made the lunch all by yourself? Good job. This is not the first time Beefcake's knocked over his 50 gallon water. He's strong enough now to do that. We think we have an idea. We've put a pig nipple in a hose. Holy moly, it's working. We had one of these broken garden right hoses and then we had this white, oh, oh, be careful. That was cool. And then we had this white standard hose which is the only hose oh, I can get works. a pig nipple in. I mended them two here together. It's not leaking here. Does that work? Oh boy. Too much is coming That's out. too much. That's more than they can get. Shoot. Okay. They're just gonna flood the place like that. Pressure is way too high at the house. They won't be able to keep up with that water flow. They're gonna not just create a wallow, they're gonna flood the place. My idea is to get a barrel, fill it up with water and put it on top of the, up in the front yard and gravity feed water to this hose. We could put it in the, on the outside. What? The barrel. Mm-hmm. In it, on top. Higher? Yeah. That's not a terrible idea. Where's the baby? Where yeah, it? yeah. Put it in a stall on some okay. on some blocks, maybe? Ty has an idea. I'm getting gimpy towards this afternoon, though. So your idea is to put a bar barrel of water ah! up there? Yeah. And then I don't know if your little ah! plywood will hold it. We could haul pallets over there. That'd be pretty easy with the track loader. It's getting them in there. Don't y'all dig another hole here, all right? This is the room right next to it. Right? Mm -hmm. They put that, put that upside down. That won't work. It's got to be perfectly oh, level. Gideon. We got to make that level. What's the idea, beefcake? See how you cracked it? Yeah. Stop that. We have our water here. Our hose will be in the bottom of this. So it needs to be. Where do where you have the nipple water? Right there? Do you think that's elevated enough? You know what I mean? That's kind of why I was thinking on top of the hill. Well, that's not going to work. We got a leaky nipple. We've got that siphoning out now. It was full of water, so it was easy. We just connected it from the hydrant, put it down the hill, and now it's draining. Because I don't want to say this, I'm downsizing. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a low spot right now because I'm injured, but I'm no stranger to this. This keeps happening. At some point, I gotta get realistic and say, okay, enough is enough. That's probably our best bet right there. Let's just get the metal one. And the market pigs are probably the first to go. We can sell them as feeders. Take an inventory of our sheep. Do we really need that many? Uh, do we want to sell Flossie instead of harvest her? We're replacing Flossie with vanilla. I'm determined. Once we get started, I'm not giving up. I can't give up. Beefcake's gotta have water. 
I'm kind of thinking my winner could have been best spent dialing in these scissors. And drill our hole. How do you know where it is? It. I don't know. You know. Are you sure that it's, is that too low? It's right here. Okay. <laughs> That's a big difference. I think it was right around here. It might be in here, just uh, it's right in here. Now all we got to do is fill this water line with water. This doesn't have a nozzle end. Hopefully we don't have to put one on there. You can see it hovering at the top. It's filled up. It's not draining. Since this is higher than that. It won't be much pressure. I just realized we could have done a pressure reducer into the line, but we don't have a pressure reducer, so. How are you gonna be able to see? I'll climb up at the bottom. How can you tell? Guys, I can see it at the very bottom. Okay. No lie. Three hours later. Looks like cats have been in the bed. I think we have a fix for this coming soon. I think we have a guard that's gonna help keep people keep people out. We're gonna put it on the grassy spot. Yeah, to put it on the grassy spot so they'll till it. Look at the cover crop. That encourages them to scratch and till. Dude, you gotta get your eggs out of here. Hey, we now have a chicken tractor posse. We now have a pretty shawl posse. And then we have the high tunnel posse. Yeah, this would be much more easier if I had an electric bike. <laughs> Not my to be you can't get it undone? I don't know how. I'm trying to eliminate my walking. I overdid it yesterday. Oh, we did it. I had to take pain medicine last night. That's a sign for me, like, if I have to take pain medicine, it's gone too far. Everything that needs to be done. Cows need to go out, we're running low on hay. The, but to do that, we've got the fence for the trees, we've got the water line that needs to go in. Tomorrow we have a work day at a local homesteader and a film shoot for a new show we're doing on Abundance Plus. Farm Where You Live conference on Saturday. Then a long form podcast interview with Joel Salatin on Sunday. Thankfully though, those things, I mean, save the work day, are gonna be pretty restful. I'm gonna have to be more of a director. Thankfully, we've got lots of volunteers coming, a couple of members, Abundance Plus. Push up on this, look, look, not that, okay. You push up on that, and then you pull down on that. Okay. And then you're good to go. My wheelchair, four wheel drive wheelchair. He's been in charge of the chicken tractor. He volunteered. Good for him. Vanilla, you gonna have mercy on me? Not gonna have to get the fence. You're gonna go right in. Let's see if she'll go without the fence. All right, Vanilla, you know the drill. Come on. She's gonna play even harder ball. Good. Go. Good. Now let's strap this. Strap this shut. Get in. We've put in our milk from this morning. Look at you. <laughs> Don't you get hurt. I won't. Jonah pretty much can't, do, he can't lift. He can't walk long distances. So it's on you, buddy. My pain was in my left SI joint and that's getting better and better every day. It's almost non-existent. There was slight pain in my groin also and that has increased. How much? Uh, six. Six gallons you'll feed them today, so a little over half a bucket. <laughs> They're gonna follow a bucket, no problem. We castrate them, shoot, win. Let's do it right now. Set that cage up just in any corner. Grab anybody, and if they're a female, put them in here. If they're a male, we'll castrate them. Okay, who's that? Getting towards the end of the week. What is the end of the week? Friday. I am not at the farm. You guys recognize this farm? Breeze from scratch. Suburban garden at its best. It's got a fork. Yep. Casting our vision. I brought my machines and my cousin operator, who just, this is like an extension of his hand. She wants to pull up these shrubs and have a sprawling garden. One of four participants for a new show we're doing for Abundance Plus, where we come along and document local homesteaders throughout the season, but we do come along with a work day or two and just give them a 
boost. We got volunteers. We got Ben from Growing Up Holt. Hey, Justin. If that's not enough, you had to bring your folks. I did. That's amazing. What's y'all's names and where are you from? I am Sherry from Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. Black Tropical Homestead. Yeah. That's on YouTube? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. And who are you, buddy? He's... I am Bobby. I am the mister of Black Tropical Yeah. I, I think, I think, Mike, you've, Mike, you've met your match, buddy. <laughs> if he can still look like that without going to the gym, I don't, I don't know. You don't go to the gym no more? Nope, I haven't been in the gym in the gym in really? years. How often do you go to the gym, Bobby? Five times a week. Woo! How many calories do he eat a day? Uh, about 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> so you brought him some snacks? I did. We got a car load of snacks. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Bobby hadn't stopped working. We've been here two hours. No, an hour. I'm getting my cardio in the day. I'm yeah, you're like getting your Mike. cardio. I'm, 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 gonna be, I'm getting it. You don't have to get You don't have to go to the... You don't have to go to the gym today. Not today, not today. First today. gym. <laughs> Mike on this duty. Mike, Mike, can you finish this in? I know that's your break. Yes, Shovel, yes. Dude. Four hours. Four hours. Four hours. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Get with it. We gotta. We gotta guard Mike. No more distractions. Yo, I'm really excited about this. A high tunnel. Well, is it a high tunnel? It's the Dakota greenhouse construction. Little, little quaint thing. Eight by eight. It's gonna be perfect for her. We've surprised her with it. Should have brought a sledgehammer or a tapper, post tapper. Okay. <laughs> He's got a hammer. You got any ideas? If you get the board just set and get it square, okay. I can real easily just mash them down in the ground. Okay. We'll just uh -oh. watch. Yeah. He's I mean, real good. Huh? You're real good. Uh, he knows all sorts I of try. things. I try. Alright, you get them square. How many cameras does it take to <laughs> set up a greenhouse? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Let me pull out. Do you mind moving the excavator? Yeah, I'm moving. Okay. We gotta drive these anchor poles in the ground, but what I was saying about this, this is actually a gift from Grower's Solution. Total gift. I contact, I, I used Grower's Solution on a farm, bought them. I reached out and I said, hey, look, would you guys give Bree this Dakota greenhouse? And after some back and forth, hey, you know, does she want to be on our affiliate program? I don't know. I want to surprise her. I'm sure she'll feature it in our YouTube video. It makes sense. I mean, then we could give a gift. It'd be nice for them to have a return on it. Well, I'm going to tell you this. I had to tell them, I'm not sure. I can't make any guarantees. If you want to do it, I understand if you don't. They gave it. They gave it. Totally free. This 8x8 greenhouse. No strings attached. So here you go, Grower Solutions. I'm plugging you. You did the right thing. Thank you. I use Grower Solutions. Pay for it myself. Uh, it's worked good for us. And they're just good people. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we just drove an hour. It took 10 people, like four or five hours last time. What was it? Four or five hours? Yeah, but yeah. Nine to two. Uh -huh. And we did it in like an hour and a half today. Having the materials closer, doing some of it with the machine. And it's ready. Her summer garden is ready. Greenhouse ended up being a 12 by 12, not an 8 by 8. Grower solution, over the top. Thank you guys. We got the base in. Folks are working now on the greenhouse. Mike's in charge. Mike, Fit Farmer. She's done brought me a gardening bench. I love it. Uh, I'm able to walk a little bit. Look at this. I bring a griddle and look what Ben does. <laughs> Grass fed burgers, my man. Holy smoke. How's the griddle holding up? The griddle's doing great. Is it? It's, yeah, it's really. I want to get one for myself now. Did you already caramelize these onions yeah, or did I, you do it here? I did it here. That's wow. I, I did it to pull out the smell for everyone. Then everyone oh, comes yeah, to eat the caramelized onions. Ben Holt from Growing Up Holt. He's made fries in, we, I brought in some tallow. Tallow fries, the way to go. Tallow fries. Okay, what's this? That is Ben's special spice mix. Oh, that, that's then, if you told me, you'd then have to kill me? I'd have to kill you if I told you what that, what's in that. But I bet you could get once you taste it. It's probably, I just get a burger on a plate for him. Plate? Yeah. Salt, pepper, paprika, You're garlic, good. garlic yep. powder. You've nailed a lot of it. What do you think, CB? Very good. How do you, how do you like those beef tallow fries? They're amazing.